please, sir, please be seated. Uh, Speaker Martin uh, Romualdez, members of the cabinet, those accompanying and those who are uh, uh, holding the fort uh, here. Uh, Pasay uh, District Representative Antonino Galixto, uh, AFP uh, Chief of Staff, uh, Chief of Staff uh, Rom Romeo Browner, uh, Philippine Coast Guard Commandant Admiral Ronnie Gaban, and of course, uh, the First Lady, First Lady uh, Lisa Reneta, my, workers, my fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, to, today I fly to Melbourne to attend the special summit to commemorate the 50 years of ASEAN-Australia relations at the invitation of Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. As the first ASEAN leaders level engagement for the year, the summit presents an opportunity to reiterate the Philippines' national positions on regional and international issues and set the tone for ASEAN's Dialogue Partner Summits later in the year. There will be two main engagements with the leaders' plenary where we will take stock of ASEAN-Australia cooperation and propose ways forward to further bolster relations and a leaders' retreat where we will exchange candid views on key issues affecting our region and the world. The summit will be an opportunity for the Philippines to thank Australia, ASEAN's oldest dialogue partner, for its unwavering support for the rule of law, for the 1982 UNCLOS and the 2016 Arbitral Award, through timely statements of support as well as through capacity building and academic initiatives to mainstream appreciation of international law. On the sidelines of the summit, I will hold bilateral meetings with the Prime Ministers of Cambodia and New Zealand to further strengthen our cooperation. I look forward to the opportunity to meet with the Filipino community in Melbourne, as well as to promote Philippine business through the Philippine Business Forum led by our DTI Secretary. I also look forward to the launching of the expansion of the Victoria International Container Ter Terminal, Australia's first fully automated container terminal. The VICT is a subsidiary of the International Container Terminal Services, Inc., ICT ICTSI, and is a, is a testament to ICTSI leadership as a leading Filipino company in the field of global port management. While I'm in Melbourne, I will deliver a keynote speech to the Lowy Institute, where I will highlight the Philippines' role as an active participant in world affairs and a contributor to the rules-based regional security architecture. This administration continues to ensure that our constructive engagements with ASEAN, our external partners and, st and stakeholders, will best serve our national interest, inasmuch as we promote the region's peace, stability, security, and prosperity for the well-being of the Filipino and all our region. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much and good morning.